Hey, how's it everybody? Steve here and I'm back to do a five month follow up review of the Apple AirPods Pro. So in November, I decided to take the plunge and get a pair of AirPods Pro and I couldn't have been happier. Okay, now most of you know I'm a gadget freak. So over the years, I had a bunch of different headphones and earbuds from Beats to Bose. I love great sound and I love ease of use. I mean, who doesn't, right? From pairing to everyday use, it's easy and the sound quality is great. So let's take a look at some of the pros and cons about the AirPods. First off, the initial pairing, you press a button in the back and it pairs with most devices. From then on out, you just flip the cover open and it'll sync up with your phone. At the same time, it'll give you battery status on both earbuds and the charging case itself. Switching between devices is even easier. It doesn't give me any issues going between my iPhone X, my MacBook Pro, or my iPad Pro. The ANC, or Active Noise Cancelling and Transparency modes work well. The transparency mode lets you hear the outside noise along with your music, just in case you need to be aware of your surroundings. And the touch sensitive stems they let you start, stop, repeat, or skip to the next track, although you can't adjust the volume with them. That's the only downfall. The Hey Siri feature is built in and works well with your iDevices. Just a sec. Shut up, Siri. I did think that the $249 price tag was a bit pricey for AirPods, but for all the other Bluetooth headphones and earbuds I've had in the past, these definitely outperformed them all. You can't manually EQ sound, and there's no actual app within the phone to do so with the AirPods Pro. Perhaps they'll come up with one later on. Though, you can make other adjustments in your Bluetooth settings and even check the ear fit to ensure that there's a good seal with the silicone tips. Prior to the AirPods Pro, I had issues with earbuds consistently falling out and basically irritating the living shit out of me. Everyone's ears are built differently, so your mileage may vary. But even with that, the AirPods stay in longer better and I have less issues with them. Every so often I'll give them a little nudge and they won't fall out or get lost. Overall, in my opinion, the pros outweigh the cons for the AirPods Pro. I'm more than happy with them and I love the performance that I get out of them. All in all, the AirPods Pro are one of the best tech purchases I've made in 2019. Hey, so if you found this video helpful and would like to see more videos like it, please like, share, and subscribe below. If you have any ideas or suggestions, please leave me some comments below. And until next time, take care and aloha.